In this video, we'll cover all basics of customizing the DX tree list widget. It allows you to expand collapse nodes. You can sort data in ascending and descending order by clicking a column header. It even supports multiple column sorting. You can also move a column by dragging it to any location or resize it. You can also easily filter data. Just type some text in the filter editor. You can also change the default filter option. If I click the Edit button, it switches the tree list row into the edit state with automatically generated editors. I can also delete a record or insert a new one. Let's look at how to work with it. Like any widget from the DevExtreme library, the DX tree list widget can be added using the jQuery, Angular, or Knockout approach. Here, I'm using the jQuery approach. I've already created a simple web page and added references to the following libraries, jQuery and DevExtreme. I've also referenced the DevExtreme styles that correspond to the light theme. Now we need to add the DX tree list widget onto a page and set up a data source for it. I've already prepared an array of objects representing employee information. Let's assign this array to the widget's data source configuration option. Now let's see what the DX tree list looks like with the specified data and default settings. Each column shows text from a data source field to which the column is bound. Now let's reduce the number of displayed columns. I'll assign an array of specified columns to the Columns option. I'll also specify the key EXPR and parent ID EXPR options to show the hierarchical data structure. And here it is in the browser. Now let's add some user interactive capabilities. I'll define the Allow Column Reordering and Allow Column Resizing options to allow end users to reorder and resize a column. And let's take a look. The tree list also supports a special resizing mode when the next column width remains the same. To enable this mode, set the column resizing mode option to widget. And let's take a look at the tree list again. You can also sort data without writing a single line of code. Just change the sorting mode to multiple. And let's see how this works. I can sort a single column by clicking on it. To select several columns, press Shift and click the desired columns. To deselect a column, press Control and the required column. To allow end users to filter tree list records, I'll enable the filter row. Set the visible option of the filter row object to true. Let's see how filtering works now. To filter tree list records, type a value in the filter row cell. Matching records are determined according to the column's filter operation that is currently selected. To change the currently selected filter operation, click a filter icon and choose the required filter operation from the drop-down list. To restore the default filter operation, choose Reset. Now we'll look at the row selection. To enable it, define the selection mode option. It can be carried out in single or multiple mode. Here, I'll use multiple. Let's see what the tree list looks like with these settings. I can change the tree list selection by clicking a row, checking the boxes displayed within the first column cells, or even selecting all rows at once. I can also select a region of rows by pressing shift and clicking the first and last rows or the region. Finally, let's enable tree list editing. I'll specify the Edit Enabled, Insert Enabled, and Remove Enabled options. And now I can delete a row with nested nodes. 
Click the Edit button to start editing. That's it for this video. To learn more about the DX Treeless widget, make sure to check out the documentation on our website. You can also see more DevExtreme videos on our playlist. Or subscribe to our channel for all of our latest content. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.